If you're coyote swapping your Fox body, you will run into this exact situation where your vacuum powered brake booster does not fit in the car anymore. That's why today I am installing this hydro boost system right here. Stay tuned. So right here I have a 99-04 Mustang GT or Cobra Hydro Boost unit along with the master cylinder. I also have a Hydro Boost conversion kit from Maximum Motorsports that comes with a pedal, the adapters for the firewall, the tool to actually remove this plate back here that would go to a 99-04 Mustang. And then you also get this tool which will let you flare out the hole. Oop. Flare out that hole so you can actually fit up the Hydro Boost unit. I'm also, since I'm going to be inside the car down by the brake pedal, I'm going to be also installing this bracket for the Coyote gas pedal. So here we go. We're going to move inside the car. And we're actually going to start removing the steering column. That is the first step in this conversion. You'll remove the steering column and then the pedal box. So fortunately, unfortunately for me, I've already removed the dash because I was messing with all this wiring back here. So a lot of the prerequisites to doing this conversion as far as the brake pedal goes, I've already done. So I'm at the point where all I need to do is remove this steering column and then remove the pedal box. Uh, that should only really be, oh gosh, I don't know. I think it's like six bolts and it should be up. <laughs> Got the brake pedal, well, it's the pedal box out. If you had a uh, manual car, there, would, I think your uh, clutch pedal would also be on there. But got it out, wasn't too bad. I think somebody's been in there before because there were supposed to be two bolts on the top and there was only one holding it in. So, anyway, I'm gonna get started on removing this brake pedal and installing the new one. Okay. Cool, and then we're gonna save all that stuff that was in there. There's the metal sleeve and these two plastic um, bushings, I guess you could call them. But I was looking at this before I turned the camera on, and it looks like these guys are literally... Nope, I guess not. So, if you're wondering, they're not the same pedal, so you do have to change the pedal out. The, uh, where the... Oh, I don't even know what you'd call it. This part of the Hydro Boost unit hooks onto there as well as your, um, oh, what is it called? Your brake switch. So you do have to switch it out. I was looking at it earlier and it looked like maybe you didn't have to. Cool. And also, when I was inside the car, it didn't seem like you really had to take this out. Maybe if you had the whole dash in there, it would be a little bit more difficult, but the way I had it set up in there, it didn't seem uh, very hard to access. 
But again, it could be a different story when you have the entire dash in. I got the pedal box all back together here. And I'm actually go not going to move on to putting it back in just yet. I'm actually going to move on to flaring out that hole there with the special tool provided. If you have the 99204 Hydro Boost system, it does tell you you are going to have to do this. It wants you to bend inward from the 10 o'clock to the two o'clock position about 45 degrees. All right, I've got it all uh, bent up. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Maybe a little bit. But like I said, the instruction said to bend it inward at about a 45 degree angle between the 10 and two o'clock position. With the tool they provided, it was an okay tool, I guess. It got the job done, but as you saw at the end there, I went in with a hammer and kind of massaged it around. But uh, it's got a 3 8 square uh, drive on it, but I ended up just using it by hand. The, the firewall sheet metal is pretty thin, so it was easy enough just to uh, bend it by hand. Okay, before I go and put the pedal box back in, I might as well just make sure that this Hydro Boost unit and the Um, adapter plates here they all line up that way I'm not having to go back and forth I don't think the pedal box would necessarily get in the way but I'm already here so. I got the nut off here. I had to hammer this socket onto it and then use the use the big boy ugga dugga to put it on or get it off. And then the next step in the instructions is to put the adapter plate on. But the only problem is it tells you to line up this notch here with the notch on the Hydro Boost unit. However, there's two on this one, so um, if you're doing this at home, just make sure that this silver cylinder is facing up, because if you have it the other way, it'll face down. You don't want that. So make sure this goes on, and then it tells you to throw that, flip the nut, which I'll have to figure out how to get it out, because you don't want the teeth getting into the aluminum adapter here. And then it tells you to put some Loctite that is provided in the kit. So, let me see if I can punch this out somehow. Okay, instructions say to uh, torque this thing to 150 foot-pounds, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do. Not with this setup that I have. But, you get to see my gross toes, so that's cool.
Alrighty, I've got the Hydro Boost in there and it's fitting up. We'll go on the inside here. And as you guys can see in here, hopefully, maybe, you can see how the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the tail of the Hydro Boost unit um, is hitting the firewall just slightly where I bent it up. I could probably bend it up a little bit more, but it is sitting flush on the outside here. So I'm not super concerned with it. As you can see, it's it's sitting flush, so I don't think it should be an issue. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab uh, this plate here. This should go on the inside and then clamp it down with some nuts. We're gonna throw in this adapter spacer plate thing. That's just gonna go right like that. Next, we'll throw in the little box. I got uh, everything back together. The only thing, uh, the camera died and the only thing you guys missed was uh, putting this bar back on and then uh, the hood latch bracket there. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I got hung up on the uh, brake, uh, brake switch in there, but got the pedal box all the way back in, steering column back in. One thing I forgot to mention was you have that metal spacer uh, that you put in and that replaces this plastic one. Mine's broken, but um, yeah, I forgot to mention that. But on the firewall side, everything is in and uh, yeah, looks good. The only thing now is I can't get that coil pack out, uh, so that's cool, but anyway, I'm going to save putting the master cylinder on for now. I'm probably just going to do it in the plumbing video for the hydro system, hydro pump and steering. Ah! I'm going to hold off to put the master cylinder on. I'm going to put that on during the hydro boost and power steering pump um, plumbing kit that I got from SVE. I'm going to wait to do it in that video, which will be the next video. And I still need to bench bleed it. So I need to get a bench bleed kit, but I am going to move on to putting in the gas pedal. 
That should be uh, pretty easy, straightforward. There's just two bolts that hold it in. It is super hot in my garage. I've got the door closed. It's almost 90 degrees in here. What is that, 80? I don't know. It's hot. It's hot. Um, but I got the Hydro Boost unit in. It's secured. And then we got the brake pedal swapped out. And I just put the little brake pedal pad on there. Um, I'll adjust it later once I actually start driving the car and then I've got the gas pedal in and I think that might need to be adjusted as well I think it's not going all the way down but that'll all be adjusted when I actually go to start driving the car um, but yeah I think that's a that's a wrap for this video next video will be the bench plating the master cylinder and putting in the SVE hydraulic lines, plumbing kit for the KRC power steering pump and the hydro boost. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will catch you on the next one.